Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial I will show you something truly amazing that can completely revolutionize the way how we 3D model objects. In this tutorial I will teach you how to quickly generate a 3D model out of a 2D image. And here is a simple test case. Here is our 2D image. It represents a robot. Then we can easily remove the background and we are only left with the robot and then with a single click over here we can generate a 3D model only on the basis of this 2D image over here and here is the model. What amazes me is that this artificial intelligence model was able to even reconstruct the back of the robot only on the basis of the front view and this is truly amazing. In this tutorial, I will explain how to use this online tool as well as how to use Flux to generate images, then to import images to this online model, then to generate 3D models, and then later on to load the models in Blender. However, in my next tutorial, I will explain how to download and to run this model and the algorithm on your local machine. Hopefully, the results will be even better since you will be able to use your local computer resources and you can probably tune the model to get even better 3D models. Now, some of you might argue that this is not the best quality of 3D model. However, over here I'm using an online tool and you can also install this tool on your local computer and I believe the results will be even better and you can also improve them later on. Now over here we can simply click and download the model and then we can actually open the model with the standard Windows 3D viewer and here's the model once we open it up. Now we can even go step further. Over here you can see that I can also load this model in Blender. And this is the model in relatively coarse resolution without the colors. However, this is still amazing. And you can use this model as a starting point of 3D modeling because you can simply improve this model and obtain a better model. Again, I'm running an online tool that is not computationally demanding and consequently the quality of this model is not the best. Okay, let's start with explanations. The name of the model is Stable Fast 3D Mesh Reconstruction with UV Unwrapping and Illumination Disentanglement. The abbreviation of this model is SF3D. If you go to this website, that is, if you go to the official Hugging Face website of this model and the algorithm, you can run this simple demo. So let's explain how to run the demo. First of all, over here, you have some built-in examples. So let's click over here and let's start with this example. Now, over here, you can simply click to remove the background. And if you run now, you will get a 3D model and here it is. Then you can download this 3D model. Here it is and you can open up the model in this standard Windows 3D model viewer. Okay. Now you also have some other models. So for example let's test this model which represents Splinter. If you remember, remember Ninja Turtles this looks like a splinter, their master of Ninja Turtles. So click on run and here it is. Here is the model. Looks amazing. Next, I will show you how to use your own images in this program. Over here you will just need to click and to load your image. However, I will also teach you how to generate your own images. For that purpose, I'm going to use Flux model and Comfy UI. Briefly speaking, Comfy UI and Flux are algorithms and graphics user interface that can generate images from a text description. For example, over here I have a text description of my desired image, Roman soldier with a sword and a shield, he is strong, the background is completely green, and what you can see over here are the generated images. Now you can simply download these images by clicking on the image, then you can simply 
save the image then later on what you can do you can go to this prog program click over here and open the image and here it is and you can simply click on remove the background and the background will be removed however here I have to mention the following here I deliberately said that the background will be green this is because I want to quickly and easily remove this background now I also created a video tutorial explaining how to install Comfy UI and Flux model and how to use it I will provide a link to that YouTube tutorial in the description below so you can actually first watch this tutorial on how to install Comfy UI and Flux and then you can continue to watch this tutorial so let's go back to this image now if I click on run a 3D model of this image will be generated and here it is again the quality is not the most optimal one however keep in mind that we are here running an online demonstration and probably they're not using all the resources that they have let's now do this test first of all let's generate our desired image and here is a test description a cyborg is holding a shield and a sword the cyborg is generated using a cyberpunk style the background is green okay so let's run this text prompt and let's generate an image or a series of images simply click here and over here you can see how the model is being created and note over here that I'm using NVIDIA RTX 3090 to generate the model this card has around 24 gigabyte of VRAM memory and it takes I think around maybe 60 seconds to generate three images so let's wait and let's see the images and here are the images okay here is the first second and third and let's test these images so let's click here save this image then let's click here to close then let's try this image then let's try the third image over here that is let's first download save image okay so let's go to this app close this image and let's see the results okay so let's see this one over here remove the background and let's run and let's see what will happen so where is our 3d model let's run again for some re okay here it is looks good right of course this can be improved and again you can see how nicely we are able to reconstruct the back of the robot so let's download this model and let's open the model and let's see it over here here is the model not bad right then let's try the second one close this one close this thing let's see the second one let's remove the background then let's run and here it is wow this looks amazing actually and then we can save this and let's open it up here it is this looks amazing I really like this now let's try the third one so let's click here let's open this one no this is already the one we have so let's try the first one here okay so this one might look good because it's kind of colorful and let's see what happens after we remove the background and let's run and here it is this is this looks the best actually this looks actually amazing okay so let's download it and finally let's learn how to load these models in blender so let's go here I'm going to erase this model then I will click on file and over here I need to import the file however we need to figure out the extension of the downloaded file so let's go here and let's look here in the downloads folder and in the downloads folder we can see that the extension is GLB so let's load them from blender so go file import and let's load this model let's click on the most recent one this one let's import it and voila here it is guys this looks really nice this looks amazing and of course you can improve this model and later on you can do all sorts of things however you have a base 
for working on this model. Perfect. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.